A plea now from dive rescue teams in our state. Please stay off the ice. In some spots, it may look thick, but don't be fooled. Your Alaska Lynx LaShawn Donaldson spoke with some divers about how to stay safe this time of year. As people are enjoying the great outdoors at Westchester Lagoon in Anchorage, Alaska Dive Search and Rescue Recovery Team are warning people to be cautious of the ice. Um, it's always important because ice really isn't safe. There's no way of determining how safe it is because it's all what happens underneath it. Um, especially this time of year because the ice is actually breaking down. So it may look thick but it's actually not. The ice in the lakes is now breaking up into what is known as candlestick ice. Um, it's basically just like an icicle, so it has a thicker top, but all the bottom of the portion of the ice is very sharp and there's a lot of open channels at the bottom of it. So it looks thick, but once again, it's not thick at all and it has no strength. If you do fall in the water, remember time is of the essence. It's a matter of getting back to the edge of the ice where you went in because that was the firmest place that you were on. It may be weaker the other directions. And then trying to push your feet up to the surface, kick hard, push your with your hands down on the ice and try to get onto the top of the ice and then roll away from it. That way you space out the amount of force that's on the ice. Diving experts tell your Alaska link that if you do fall in thin ice, that it's important to always keep with you an ice pick and wear synthetic clothing to get out of the ice. Having a life jacket could save your life. If you go through the ice, if you can get back to the edge of the ice where you have something that's flotation on, you've got some more time. Currently, the best way to stay safe is to follow the recommendation and stay off the thin ice. LaShawn Donaldson, your Alaska Link.